When you write a paper that has um, multiple uh, reference or bibliographic entries, say for example 10 or 20 entries, um, which is not uncommon in upper level uh, university courses and uh, uh, definitely is requisite for graduate courses, constructing that uh, reference page or the bibliography page um, is pretty time consuming. Uh, it, most people do not have the uh, citation uh, styles for each particular source memorized off the top of their head. They probably know a book and journal and could compose that from memory, um, but if they had to do uh, another kind of source, um, it would be quite difficult. And so they must go into a reference book and, and compile the, the uh, bibliography page uh, uh, one by one, and, and it becomes very tedious. And so if you were to create from scratch using a, uh, a reference book um, to create your page, it could take up to, could take sometimes 45 minutes, could take up to hours to do that. And so, uh, and it's very easy to make a mistake in the punctuation, uh, you miss a period here, put a comma in a wrong place there, and... And then all of a sudden, the, your, the format of your bibliography page is, um, is non-normative, and, and that uh, contributes to how your paper is viewed. So not only do you want to be able to construct your page efficiently, uh, meaning as quickly as possible, but you also want it to be as accurate as possible to the standard conventions of the, um, of the style that you choose. Uh, well, good thing is there is actually an internet tool uh, called the Son of Citation, which uh, helps you to compose a bibliography and reference page um, with uh, uh, with a lot of ease and facility. And so that's what I'm going to show you right now. If you Google Son of Citation, you will see one of the first entries is Son of Citation Machine. Click on that uh, link. Clicking on that link uh, brings you to this web page here, and uh, if we look to the left of the web page, we can see that the Sum of Citation um, can help you to compose a um, uh, reference section for either MLA, APA, Turbian, or Chicago uh, style. Uh, so let's just say, for example, that we are going to compose uh, a reference page for MLA style. Okay, Clicking on that here, Looking to the left, we can see that there are uh, different, a list of different types of sources we may have for our paper. For example, a book, an encyclopedia, or a journal article. And um, so, say for example, you have a book that you want to uh, write the reference for. So you go and you click on book. And with book, it's very easy because if you have the ISBN number of the book, all you need to do is to place it in the web lookup box. And so, for example, I'm going to place, I have a book called Having Our Say, and I'm going to place the ISBN number here in the box. I'm now going to hit the search button. And that is the information of the book. It was written by uh, these two people. It has the title of the book, the publishing company, and the year. Uh, once that information has been inputted here, um, all I have to do is press the button, make citation, and there is my citation. Um, the next thing, it provides not only the bibliographic citation, but also the in-text citation. And so the, all I have to do simply is to click on the box, highlight the material. Let me click off of that so I just have the uh, citation information. Click copy, and then I can go and place it into uh, my paper. And so that's very simple for a book. Uh, let's imagine, though, that it is a journal article, and so you don't have an ISBN number. Well... Then you can input the name of the author, and I'll input my name here. There's my last name, here's my first name. Here is the title of the article, title of the publication 2011. It was in volume one, issue one. Um, the year that it was published was 2011, and in the journal, let's just say it was page 33 to 49. Um, I found this article uh, on the web, and here is the web address for the article. 
Okay, once I have input all this information, I press Make Citation. And here is my citation and the in-text citation as well for this article. And so pretty much it's as simple as placing the information in the box, um, which is required, and it will automatically generate the citation. Um, I think that, um, to me, that might be quicker because you don't have to constantly flip through the book looking for a anthology or a newspaper or a book. Um, so you save time by not going through your reference material. And number two, you can be assured that as long as you input the proper information, the format of the citation will be standard.